horses on the track for the George Schulte Memorial, late closer, three-year-old trotting fillies, honoring the memory of the great horseman George Schulte. Number one is Ben Joe's Crown. She's owned by Julie Gray and Russell Smith, trained by Steve Gray with Eric Ledford. Number two, Rompaway Tricia, owned by the Rompaway Farms, trained and driven by Mark O'Meara. Number three, David and Ricky Caldwell's Catch a Train, Bob Stewart the trainer with Mike Lachance. Number four, CC Superhome, all by Crowley and Anderson. Dave White trains with John Campbell. Number five, last year's New York Sire Stakes champion, Fashionable Live, all by W Springtime Racing with John Stark Jr. training and driving. Number six, Superficia, all by the Thomas Stables, trained by Ed Thomas, Dave Miller. And number seven, Divorce That Man, all by the Jazz Morrell Stables, Jimmy Cruz Jr., the trainer, and Jack Rice is in the sulky. Eric Ledford driving number one, Ben Joe's Crown, Exacta Trifecta, and Superfecta in the George Schulte Memorial. He may have been small in stature, but he was a giant in the industry he loved. And today, the Red Mile honors the memory of one of the most popular trainers and drivers in harness racing history, the late George Schulte, this three-year-old Philly Trot the George Schulte Memorial, heading toward the start. And they're off. Super Fisher off stride at the start. CC Superhome heads out to the lead, but Rapaway Tricia trots out to her inside. Benjo's crown has also gone off stride. Fashionable Liv is moving up. She's now trotting up into the third spot. Toward the outside in the fourth is Catch a Train. Divorce that man, gains a spot in the fifth. Benjo's crown is on a break, and still off stride is Super Fisher far behind trailing the field so they head toward the quarter and Campbell has CC Superhome on the lead here Rapaway Trisha is in the pocket in second opening panel in 29 and 1 Fashionable Liv is right there with the top pair trotting in third then it's two lengths further back to catch a train following fourth divorce that man riding the pylons along in fifth then far behind to the breakers Super Fisher who's sixth and Ben Joe's crown now trails the field so they head toward the half-mile marker, and C.C. Superhome, the Indiana bred filly, is a length and a half clear. Rampaway Tricia sits in behind her for the perfect trip in second. Fashionable Liv is trotting in third as they hit the half 58 and four. Still fourth on the inside is Catch a Train. Divorce that man is fifth, and now Catch a Train is the first to pull for Lachance to the outside, and Catch a Train making some progress. She's up to a third and flushes Rampaway Tricia out of the pocket, and Rampaway Tricia comes after CC Superhome as they trot the far turn nearing the three-quarter marker. Fashionable Liv is going to need some racing room. She's trapped on the inside and third. Catch a train is second over on the outside, fourth. Divorce that man kicks out the earplugs, fifth, three quarters and 129 and two. And Campbell's trying to take them all the way here with CC Superhome. Rapaway Trisha still has a length to make up on the outside. And Fashionable Liv still needs a way through. She's blocked in behind horses. Now takes a peek at the pylons. It's Rapaway Trisha now getting to the lead. Fashionable Liv with room on the inside. CC Superhome. Home tire and catch a train closing. Rump away Trisha. Fashionable live and catch a train. It's rump away Trisha. Rump away Trisha wins it. Fashionable live appeared to get second from catch a train. 158 flat. George Schulte Memorial and we welcome members of the late George Schulte's family to the winner circle. His widow Myrna and his daughter Terry Strada along with son Buzzy Schulte all trackside to make the trophy presentation. George Schulte was the consummate horseman. He was a leading catch driver at Roosevelt and Yonkers in New York, then changed his focus to developing top colts, specializing in young pacers and trotters on the Grand Circuit. And he's had some of the great ones too. Romeo Hanover, the 66 Jug winner. Hamiltonian winner, Legend Hanover, who he drove in 1979 for the trips. He trained another Jug winner, Fake Left in 92. Perhaps his greatest star was the brilliant Sun Sam, also, the pacing mayor, Annie Crombie, and top trotters include General Stroke and Florida Pro. So the George Schulte Memorial, many of George's greatest victories were right here at the Red Mile, a track he loved. And tragedy has certainly touched the Schulte family in many ways. We'd like to call your attention to the program page opposite the second race, detailing the loss of Tom Strata, who was Myrna Schulte's son-in-law and the late husband of Terry, who's trackside in the winner's circle. Tom was killed and the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center buildings, and certainly our condolences go out to the Schulte family.